Hey, Marvin Wright family. We're so glad you tuned in. Uh, we went to training yesterday and we want to share two strategies that we think that you can use tomorrow in your classroom. They are so awesome. Uh, the first one that we are going to look at um, is a strategy called hexagon. We are going to have these templates ready to go for you in the office where it says SOS strategies. So when you look at um, our hexagon map right here, you are um, going to put something in the middle of the hexagon. You'll pass one out to every child. The template will be in the office, like I said. Um, and so today, for example, I chose to do winter. And so the children wrote winter in the middle, and then they are to choose six words that remind them of winter, kind of like a nice little word splash. Every child wrote different words. Then they all come together as a group and start making those connections. Um, so for example, we have winter snow, and then someone else had winter snow angel. And those two match for them, and those students have to um, say their words, and they have to explain their connections. And there's some really cool things that happen with that. So the nice thing is that it provides differentiation for your students. Um, you might have a child who feels a little more timid, a little um, less inclined to participate. They might come up with a, um, a connection that's very simple, like they might connect snow with snowman. And then they're able to just put their piece on top of the other word that connects with the, the previous student's word. Um, it's a little bit uh, lower risk for them. They just have to make that one connection. Some of your higher students might choose to make a connection when there's already a few put together. And then they're going to have to connect two or three, or um, if someone really wants a challenge and ends up putting one right in the middle, they'll end up having to make six connections with their words and make their words connect to all the other words that the other student had placed in the center. So it really provides a nice level of scaffolding where your highest students have a challenge, um, your lower, lower students can also participate very, very easily. But we're talking about, you know, first grade and second grade. How would this strategy, you know, work with fourth grade? And how did you, I mean, you feel like it would work? I do, because one thing you can do is they have more than one connection they can make. For example, if I have freezing, you could put freezing with snowman, or you could put cold with snowman. So they can find different connections to make, and also it'd be a good thing to use. I thought about using it with uh, multiplication and fact families. You could also use it with something that you're studying in literature. Right. Um, so then you can keep this picture up and have it for the students um, as a pre-writing activity or as that anchor chart later on when you're wanting to look at those multiplication facts again. So this is our first strategy and we look forward to sharing lots of uh, strategies with you in the future. So remember this is the hexagon strategy.